push that rock with Simpson math. We're going to estimate square root of 4.1 using linearization. So what is linearization? I'm going to show you a picture. It's zooming in on the graph of a curve and realizing that when you zoom in close enough, it looks almost like a line. And in fact, if you get a tangent, the tangent line will be hugging the curve very closely. And so the tangent line serves as a linearization of the curve itself. So when we hear the word linearization, we're just thinking tangent line. And you want, for this particular problem, we want a linearization at some given x value that's convenient. So we talk about the linearization at x equals a, sort of like we did with tangent lines. We said find the tangent when x is a. Well, in this particular case, we want the linearization, linearization at x equals, what do you think? If we're trying to get 4.1, what do you think? It's a convenient value. You're right, 4, because we can take the square root of 4, and because it's close to 4.1, okay? So that's what I mean by convenient value. So a in this case stands for a super convenient value that's nearby. Did you get that? It stands for a super convenient value that's nearby. Okay, so now we're just getting the tangent line when x is 4. I mean, we know how to do that. So, wait, what's the function, though? Is the function obvious to you? I hope the function is obvious. We're trying to get the tangent line to this function when x is 4, okay? So the very first thing you need is a shared point. That means you evaluate the function at 4, and we get out 2. So the shared point is put in 4, get out 2. So this curve and its tangent share this point. The next thing you need is the derivative. So we need to get the derivative. Hopefully by now you know that the derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 root x. I mean, we're pretty far into the semester now. And the slope then for the tangent line because the curve and the line share the same slope. And we're interested in the uh, tangent at 4. So the slope of the curve at 4 is 2 over root 4 which gives me 1 over 2 times 2, which is 1 fourth. And then how do I get the tangent line? Well, you just plug into this formula. Uh, plug in a y value, which we have is 2. Plug in an m value, which we have is a fourth. Plug in an x value, which is 4, plus b. And this becomes a 1. Subtract the 1 over. So we have 2 equals 1 plus b, but we subtract and we get 1 equals b. And so our equation, our tangent line is y equals the slope 1 fourth x plus b1. This is the linearization, so we frequently change y to L of x notation, the linearization of the square root function at 4. This is it right here. Linearization of y equals root x sorry, I can't write with this one hand, when x equals 4. Now, how are we going to estimate uh, the square root of 4.1? Well, this tangent line hugs the square root curve. Remember, we just saw a picture of it. So instead of sticking 4.1 into the square root, we'll just stick it in here. So we'll find what is L of 4.1. In other words, what is the value of this line when the x is 4.1? So we go 1 fourth of... 4.1 and then we add the 1 and whatever that is that's your estimate for the square root of 4.1 that's going to be well that goes into that 1.4 goes into 1 0 times and it goes into 10 twice with a remainder of uh, 2 so 5 plus 1 and so we say it's about 2.025. That's our estimate for the square root of 4.1, if I did my little arithmetic there. Notice how easy the arithmetic was. It wasn't that hard. So we did the linearization. This is the linearization down here of the square root of x when x is 4, but we used it to make this estimate when we evaluated um, the line at 4.1. And the output of that 
line at 4.1 is our estimate of the square root function at 4.1. Math made simple. Let's do some math.